Welcome to our continuing review of chapter 7. This will be the last problem in chapter 7 and it deals with trajectory problems. So, uh, the problem states a man who is 20 meters tall, and I put it he is a bit deformed, 20 meter tall man, is a fairly tall man of course, throws the ball vertically at a speed of 22 meters per second. What was the velocity of the ball just before it hit the ground and I want the magnitude and direction of the ball. Okay, so first of all, like always, let's draw a picture to get an idea of what we're dealing with. Okay, so we got this really tall man here. And I said he's 20 meters tall, but what I meant to say was his arms are 20 meters above the ground. He's going to throw a ball horizontally at an initial speed of 22 meters per second. By the way, I put vertically here. And I meant to put horizontally, so let's change that. Okay, so he throws the ball horizontally at 22 meters per second. I want to know how fast the ball was traveling just before it hit the ground. So there's two things we need to know here to start. First of all, I need to state that we're going to neglect air resistance. In other words, this speed right here is not going to change. It's always going to be traveling until it hits the ground. It's always going to be traveling horizontally at 22 meters per second. So, what we need, the other thing we need to find is the vertical component. We're essentially going to take the components of this vector. So we're going to take the horizontal component like this and the vertical component like this to find the resulting velocity like this. Okay, so to find the vertical velocity, we're given a height, and so we, we want to find the velocity just before it hits the ground, so we're going to go back to an example uh, that I started with a couple lessons ago. Uh, using the formula mass times gravity times height is equal to one-half mass times velocity squared. I stated in that video, mass cancels, and so we're left with gravity times height is equal to one-half velocity squared. Gravity here, we're going to say, is 9.8, and our height is going to be 20, and velocity is what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and start to solve this problem. We're going to say 9.8 times 40 is equal to v squared. I brought 1 half over here by multiplying both sides by 2. Now we're going to take the square root of both sides. And we get our final velocity, our final vertical velocity just before it hits the ground is the square root of 9.8 times 40, which I'll type into the calculator real quick to get our answer. The square root of 9.8 times 40. And we come up with our final vertical velocity is going to be 19.7. 9.9 meters per second. Okay, so we're going to write that in right here. 19.799 uh, meters per second. Okay, so now you can see that we have the components for a vector. We have the horizontal component as well as the vertical component. Now all we need to do is we need to find the angle that this thing hit the ground as well as the magnitude. So to find the magnitude we're going to use Pythagorean's theorem. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. We'll call this side a, we'll call this side b, and we'll call this hypotenuse that we're looking for right here c. So we're going to take a squared, so 22 squared plus b squared which is 19.799 squared is equal to c squared. Now to solve for C, we need to take the square root of both sides. It's actually the absolute value of the square root of both sides. That way we get a positive value. And that will give us C is equal to the square root of 22 squared plus 19.799 squared. Now if we do that on our calculator, it gives us the square root of 22 squared plus 19.799 squared gives us a value of 
couple meters per second. Now let me remind you what this value gives us. This gives you th this gives us the magnitude of this c vector. This is the final vo total velocity right here. So we'll go ahead and write that uh, vector, or we'll go ahead and write that magnitude in here, 29.597 meters per second. Now what we need to find is we need to find this angle. We need to find the angle that this thing hit the ground. So how we do that is we take the opposite divided by the adjacent. We take, I'm sorry, we take the inverse tangent of the opposite divided by the adjacent. So we'll do that down here. We're going to take the inverse tangent of the opposite, which is 19.799. divided by the adjacent, which is 22 meters. Okay, so this gives us a value, if we type it in our calculator, it gives us a value of 19.799 divided by 22, 41.986 degrees. Okay, so again, we're got, we, we have the two components of our answer. We have the magnitude and the direction. We're going to write them in the uh, formal way, which is 29.597 meters per second with a direction or an angle of 41.986 and we'll say south of horizontal. And this is our final answer, and that concludes this problem.